from the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! <laughs> I... I'm your host. It's on our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are together again on the radio. Good to be here. Good to be sitting here. Enjoying the crap out of this. Say I'm enjoying the crap out of sitting here. In case you haven't heard, we're number one. Number one in men again in Southern California. And uh, the ratings have just been pouring in, and we are just doing incredibly well. Got the numbers right here. Looking at them. Enjoying the crap out of it. Enjoying taking shots at other stations that don't have listeners like we do. I just noticed that in adults 25 to 54, we have more listeners than the two all-news stations combined, KNX, KFWB. And they've got staffs of like, you know, 100 people writing stories, reporting on them, flying out and getting traffic reports, anchors, layers of management and after all of that, we have more listeners in the prime demographic than both stations put together. Just thought I'd mention that. Because <laughs> it's fun to mention it, that's why. They could save a lot of money. They should just run our show on both stations. Just simulcasts. Save a fortune. Because, you know, we're uh, retrenching in the broadcasting business during this recession. One way to save money, just eliminate the uh, entire afternoon uh, product from uh, KFWB KNX. We're on the Tom Likas show on both stations. That would be great. In fact, Dean, make a note of that. Let's get in touch with the management over there. What's his name? Oh, David Hall. Yes. Let's get in touch with that guy. Set that up. Thought I'd mention that. I'm calling him now. Call him right. See if we can get that going. Let's get him to take a meeting. Just run our show on both stations. Be done with it. <laughs> just sign it off already. Just, you know, just play the national anthem and sign off. You've got that few listeners. Just give it up. And now KNX and KFWB leave the air just to see if anybody notices the difference. And now our national anthem. <laughs> yes. By the way, Carol A, they played taps. Uh, they played uh, the final national anthem a couple of weeks ago. Nobody noticed. That's right. Just love that conservative talk radio. That's right. In fact, really, you could play the national anthem for the entire AM band right now. Because it's all going away. Yes, programming will cease. Effective at 5 p.m. today and tomorrow. We'll be the home of garage door openers, cellular phone frequencies, and a host of American markets. Thank you for 80 years of business. Yes. (laughs) 
you could do that right now and nobody would care. <laughs> Just sign off the entire AM band. Goodbye. <laughs> Except the uh, stations that are running our show, of course. We're the only thing keeping those stations alive. Tom like his show. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Let me check my CBS mailbox, see if I've got a response to this yet. <laughs> I just want to see. Anyway, feeling our oats, the Tom like his show. Thank you for tuning in. In case you can't tell, we're number one again in men, number one in Southern California, number one in time spent listening in every demographic, more listeners than the two all sports stations put together, more listeners than the two all news stations put together. In fact, wait a second. Now that I'm thinking about it, hang on a second here. I've got another permutation here. Wait a second. Men, men 18 plus. Hang on, I'm going to do this. I can't get enough. Clicking through these right now. Let's see. Yes. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Let's see. KNX 2.7. KFW 1.5. That's a 4.2. And we have a 5.1. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> Those people at KFW be they're very upset because uh uh where we are is also the location of their backup studio. And uh their backup studio is way behind in terms of uh, being done and uh uh, they tried throwing us under the bus, saying that we're just a big mess over here. That that's that's the reason they haven't gotten it done. I would say to the people at KFWB who are starting to meddle in our business over here, how about you get some ratings over there, huh? How about you get some goddamn listeners instead of throwing us under the bus, Mister News out of the box? How about you get some listeners over there instead of coming over here and telling us how to do our job, okay? Or telling other people how we should be doing our job. It's been a long time since uh, KFWB, you know, uh, made its nut. You're lucky to still be in business, big boy. I'll tell you what. You're lucky you're not Spanish or Korean or something else. Coming over here and telling us that it's our fault that their backup studio isn't ready. Don't think I don't know what you're doing throwing us under the bus there, Andy. I'll tell you right now. i tell you what, next time I talk to Dan Mason, let's talk about the ratings over here and over there. Let's talk about that. Boy, I throw that in. Coming over here and giving us crap. We got more people listening to me talking about KFWB's lack of audience than are listening to KFWB right now. And how much did it cost to put KFWB on the air this hour? They're probably paying that whole collective of people more than they're paying us. Wait till somebody figures out what uh, what it's costing to put that on with those low ratings. What it costs to put this on. We'll be a simulcast before you know it. We'll be on AM and FM. And Andy can follow Jay Clark over to Captain School, learning how to captain a cruise ship. I'm sorry, I can't resist. Cannot resist. If you only knew the crap that goes on internally, you would not believe. Yes, KFWB is uh, CBS. We're CBS. Uh, so uh, the engineers for KFWB took their sweet time, I guess, about uh, getting the backup studios ready. And one of these guys here, they come over here and throw us under the bus. Get some listeners over there, okay? Please. Do what you can. Get some goddamn listeners. Before you start criticizing people at other radio stations. Who make more money than you do and who have more listeners than you have. Take that crap from anybody. Unbelievable. 
<sighs> Put that call up, Dean. I want to take that call before I do anything here. I'm just in that kind of mood. I'm just in that kind of mood here. Philip, hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Philip. Man, I love your show. Can I tell you that first off? Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of listeners here in Texas, and I'm trying to recruit more for you every day. But, Thank uh, you for that. Not a problem. I just wanted to call and comment on KFWB. Their All right, go right ahead. Ser- yeah, their call sign serves them right. KF and whiny bitches. <laughs> Take me out also, Tom. I love you, brother. Here you go, Philip. <laughs> oh, man. You better be careful over there. They'll bring that Gavin Spittle in here to run KFWB. <laughs> then we'll see what happens. Lonnie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Thank you, Lonnie. I want to congratulate you on the number one again. Thank you. And I want to tell you why are you you're so awesome. I I told my girlfriend about the show and I told her to give her a listen. For one hour she hated the stuff out of you. That's how we know and, we're doing it right, Lonnie. Yeah. And uh the funny thing is, the next day she listened to him again at uh, least to him, to you again. And uh the crazy thing is, she told me she loved you. But she <laughs> hates you. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was like, I did my job. That's right. You know? That's exactly <laughs> right. And uh, can I take a bottle rip? Go ahead. All right. You give us 22 minutes. We'll give you a bong rip. Definitely. When is that coming, Lonnie? Oh, I, I wanted to ask you if I can... Oh, you wanted me to give you a bong rip? Yeah, give oh, me I thought a you bong were. Rip. I thought you were going to give us a bong rip. Uh, I wish. Oh, I'll give it to you right now. All right, cool. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. I just have days when I come in here and I'm just in this kind of mood. You know where I might say anything about anybody. I'm pitching a tent because of the numbers, and I can't help it. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Gary Zabransky's over here you're like throwing topics at me. Come on, talk about something. Do something. And I'm like, I can't get my head out of this th- this whole idea that uh, there's all these radio stations that spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, putting programming on that nobody's listening to. And that we are here, our little staff of four people, putting on this big show, and uh, then uh, other people use us as the excuse why they don't get anything done. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Matthew on the top. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry, sorry about that. How, how are they going to sit there and accuse you, come over there and talk to you like that? That just doesn't make sense. Well, I just say, you know, I'll tell you what, if KFWB had even half as many listeners as we do, okay, fine, but they don't, so shut up. Yeah, exactly. Shut up. you got enough listeners. You're good to go. When KFWB you know has even half as many listeners as we do, then I'll tell the guys to clean up their stuff out of the office and make room uh, for KFWB. But uh, in the meantime, shut up. Yep. Whatever we're doing over here, it works. Exactly. You guys are number one. And we have more listeners than they do, and that's that. Exactly. Number and by the way, we have more listeners than just about every station on the AM dial. I mean, come on. And that, and that I love. That's what I love about you. I could be driving down the street and just listen to you. Right. And it makes my day a lot Yes. Better. That's right. <laughs> that's why you guys are number one. Stay yeah. number one. All right. We'll work on that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Attention advertisers, you too can reach this prime demographic. You know how it irks, like, news people, that we sit on the air and talk to guys like that, and we get all these listeners, and they're there all day long trying to find stories to talk about. You know, they spend their day combing through the wires, and KFWB's got their little van, and they're going around that little four-block area there around Miracle Mile looking for stories. (laughs) If there's a fire at 6th at La Brea, they're all over it. 
They are all over it. Something happens in Palmdale. They nobody up in Palmdale. But you know how it is. They're spending their whole day. Look, they got the police scanners out there looking for stories. And I sit here and talk to people who are stone drunk, manifestly irresponsible. They call up here. They say all kinds of outrageous stuff. I just sit there going, really? And we get more listeners than KMWB or KNX for them. Drives them berserk. So then their next step is to try to throw us under the bus. Well, it's the Lycus crew over there leaving all their crap all over the place. Shut up. Shut up. Jesus Christ. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you a headache. We'll give you, uh, we'll give you static. You've got to be kidding me. Marco on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Marco. Hey, how's it going, man? First time, long time. It's going great. Uh, I'm 18 years old. I've been listening to you since I was 13, man. Really? Yeah. My uh, my stepmom, uh, she uh, just married my dad when I was about 12, and she moved over here from Italy. And uh, I don't know how she got turned on to you, but she listened to you, and she said, Marco, you got to listen to this guy. He knows what's up. I love that. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm not surprised at all that you're number one. I listen to you every day on my way home. It's uh, You get me through every day. Sounds good to me. Yeah, man, uh, I just wanted to thank you, and uh, can you take me out with the bong head, no coffin, and thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. Thank you, Jesus! Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I actually got called out on being a listener of yours the other night. Love it. I was at a bar, and this girl comes up to me, start talking to her. She goes, once you want to buy me a drink? She goes, sweetie, I never buy a girl a drink until I bang her. She goes, you're a Tom Likas with Ron Joe. Yes, sir. It's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. To continue with your telephone call, Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I wanted to tell you the reason you're number one is that you're honest. You don't BS us. You tell us the truth. You're in it for entertainment. You're in it for the ratings. KFWB pretends to be a news station that's telling us the truth and out there digging up the truth for us when they're just an entertainment show, too. No, I agree with you. I disagree with you. you no, know, every time I will be entertained and I will have a good time. But these other guys are just lying to us when they pretend to be news shows. And I want to thank you for just being honest and keeping it real. And that's why you're number one. Oh, thank you for that, Steve. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, there's, when you get these news stations that get on there and they're all trying to mimic out and be entertainers because they need your ratings or they can't sell their products. And they pre- We lost them. That's a shame. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Mike of the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Mike? All right, we'll go looking for Mike and we'll say hi here to Carlos of the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Son, how are you? I'm doing great. And let me tell you something. First off, Dad, congratulations on being number one. Thank you. Even if your ratings were below zero, I would always listen to you, man, because you know what? Me and my friends have a little drinking game with your show. For every minute that you're on the phone with a stupid broad, we have two shots. And let me tell you, man, every Friday is party night. <laughs> thank, thank you, Tom. I'm, I'm a oh, man. First time, love, very, very long time. Thank you, man. Thank Actually, you. back in high school, used to have a girlfriend. First day I heard you, dump, dump the bitch the next day. So, I love that. I, I, oh, man, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love you, Dad. Son, I really appreciate that. I appreciate your loyalty. I appreciate you, man. Listen, can you take me out with a screaming orgasm, a fart, and a shotgun? This is what made us number one. Here you go. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. See, KFWB beat that.
You know what we're going to do? We're going to repeat the top five stories every three seconds. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> Except when we're playing infomercials on Sunday morning. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Demetrius on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Demetrius. Oh, man. I, I'm doing this for you right now because the last guy didn't come through. What's that? <laughs> Giving you a bonger. I am ready, Demetrius. Here you go. <coughs> Tom Likas is the ish. <laughs> I'll see if they did bong rips on KFWB. The numbers would go through the friggin' roof. Tell you what. In fact, I would say if they did them off the air, they'd do even better. Let's say hello here to Raul on the Tom, Tom. Likas show. Yes. <laughs> hey, Tom, listen. You are number one, period, in everybody's book in L.A. because... You know how in 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 in, uh, in those KNX and uh, and the KFWB every fifteen minutes they do the uh, they do the uh, time and the weather and stuff. Yeah. Well, if if you if you put a New Yorker every fifteen minutes and just rag on him all the time, man, you would be more than number one, brother. You, you, you would take over. You would take over all, all FM radio. <laughs> Anytime you have a, a New Yorker, a person that thinks that it knows knows that thinks you know he or she knows better than you or or a person that's a jesus freak oh my god or better than that a jesus freak from new york who thinks he knows more than i do which is a quinella no no kidding you i mean you rip them to, to shreds and, and i'm i'm in my car almost hollering and, and just like wanted to crash into somebody i'm so happy <laughs> <laughs> anyway tom you are the the, the man man thank Throw you Rob. Up, please. i'll blow you up baby here you go Eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom he is our telephone number. This is Marvin on the Tom Likas show. Doing? I'm doing, doing okay. Now? Good. Outstanding. Yeah, I'm calling because I'm coming driving down from Mission Viejo. Congratulations on the ratings, and I got a car full of kids. Very good. They won't do the same mistake that I did growing up. Very. How old are these kids now? I got both of my boys. One, one is twelve, and the other one is six. And I got both of their cousins. One is. 11, and the other one is uh, 7. Uh, it's about time they started tuning in. I think that's about right. Absolutely. they got to learn. They got. I don't want to make my mistakes. It's the only way to learn, Tom. And and tell us just briefly, Marvin, what were your mistakes? Uh, got, got married at a young age, two kids, divorced twice. Now I'm not struggling. Now struggling. So now, now you don't want the uh, kids in your life to make the same mistakes you made? Absolutely not, Tom. Wow. And how do their moms feel about them tuning in? I uh, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't care, Tom. Perfect. Thank you hey, for that. Kobe Bryant style. Kobe Bryant style. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Carl on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Dad. Well Son, done. Thank you. First off, I just want to say that I'm living the life, living the dream because of you. It's a beautiful Love it. thing. Oh, great. Second thing is, what about Buffalo and San Diego? They cut off your show. Those producers got to be idiots. They'd be racking the dough right now, but instead. They're in last place, I am sure. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something about Buffalo and San Diego. Yeah, what do Buffalo, San Diego, and L.A. have in common? They've all had the Clippers. Exactly. And the Tom Likas show. But the thing is, Buffalo and San Diego, they should have kept you on. They'd be racking the dough. Those producers should be basically picking up their paycheck for the unemployment line. If they aren't already. Exactly. Tom, thank you very much. Take me out with a bong hit. Here you go, Carl. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. My God, these calls. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
What up, man? Not much. Listen, man, I just wanted to call up and uh, let you know that I caught you, Tom, on your first day, on your first hour, way back in 88 or 89 in KFI. And um, it, it's, it's been a great relationship, man. I've been listening to you throughout uh, the years, all through the formats, different radio stations. And nobody, nobody, especially at KF, uh, KFWB, nobody can question your commercial success, man. So uh, congratulations. I've been listening to you. Um, I don't know. Probably this summer, it's, this just for your information, this summer will be 20 years since that first broadcast. Yeah, man. I mean, it's amazing. I, I remember that first hour and your first day. I was driving to my car in a 405, and I caught you, and I was like, who is this guy? And I've just seen you grow and become huge, and nobody can question your success, man. And congratulations. Take me out of school, Tom, please. Here you go, Mike. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. My boyfriend's dad is listening to you or whatever, and he is a cop. Like he seriously is a piece of crap. And now my boyfriend is starting to listen to you. So I oh, think good. every guy that listens to you is a piece of crap. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show. At one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Tom Likas Show declared number one in afternoon drive in Los Angeles among men. No station has more male listeners than we do. None. Nobody. Not in any language. Not in any format. None. And that is because the Tom Likas Show, in addition to having entertaining talk radio, also keeps on top of all the major breaking stories. This is just into the Tom Likas Show newsroom. Dateline, Long Beach. And not necessarily the good part. A man was shot and a female was stabbed in possibly related incidents early Saturday, authorities said. This according to the Long Beach Press-Telegram. A male adult victim was allegedly approached by a group of male blacks and shot in the parking lot outside a club at about 1.45 a.m. According to LBPD officer Jackie Bezar, that's Long Beach Police Department. The incident apparently originated at Club Bounce at 6285 East Pacific Coast Highway, then moved into the parking lot. Despite banning Dean D'Amelio, well, an hour later in the same vicinity, a female Hispanic victim was approached by a group of female blacks and was stabbed. Both victims were transported to local hospitals with non-life-threatening wounds, Bizarre said. No suspect information was available. Nothing indicates that it's gang-related, Bizarre said. A person who was at the club, but, no surprise here, asked not to be named said she didn't hear any shots fired when she was inside. But when club goers spilled out of the club at 2 a.m., they found three or four police cars in the parking lot. And people had trouble getting to their cars because of the commotion. Also trying to get past all the very fat individuals who were in the parking lot. According to its website, says the Long Beach Press-Telegram, Club Bounds is a... 4,000 square foot BBW Big Beautiful Women nightclub on Fridays and Saturdays at the PCH Club of the Golden Sales Hotel. The club, however, the hotel wanted you to know is not affiliated with the hotel. More information on the club bounce story as it becomes available. <laughs> All the chubby chasers got into a little row out in the parking lot. She's mine. No, she's mine. No, she's mine. Hold on, fellas. There's plenty to go around. (laughs) (laughs) 
the fact that there's a club for fat people is is bad enough. The idea that people would be fighting over them in the parking lot is even funnier. I'm sorry. I saw her first. <laughs> now you see if KFWB had the club bounce story, their ratings would bounce. But no. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Carlos on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? Great. I just wanted to tell you how much of a car accident you are. I'm a car accident? You're a car accident. And you know how you see a car accident? They're a terrible thing to watch, but you just can't turn away. Well, whatever the reason. <laughs> it's a good thing, man. You're a jerk, and I love it. I'm, I'm a professional jerk. Yes. I'm a jerk. Guy. I'm a son of a bitch. I'm a bastard. You go from doctor to lawyer to, to nurse. Professor. Even... I'm a professor. <laughs> I'm about your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. And then pretend you don't know that word isn't allowed on the air. <laughs> of course not. You knew it, but you tried to slide it in. But, but no, but the thing is, we have a delay. You'll never get it on the air. I, I understand that. No one ever does, and no one ever will. I don't even know why you try. All you just did was screw yourself, because what happens is when we hit that button, the, the last several seconds of whatever brilliance you, you emitted is, is eliminated. It was all nonsense anyways. There you go. Right. All right. All right, man, take me out with some bonkers. There you go, Carlos. <coughs> yeah, they're fighting over women in the parking lot of Club Bounce, though. <laughs> I knew Dean should have gotten down there. <laughs> what a, where's Russ when you need him? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Lynn on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Lynn. <laughs> First time caller. Um, I've been listening for about six months now, and I just had to call you and tell you thank you for turning me around because I am married. When I turned you around, did I crack your ass? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, let's make an appointment, darling. <laughs> Well, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on. Um, I, I'm married. I'm 27. And when I got married, I turned into the woman that you describe on your show daily. And I never listened to you before that. But when I started to listen to you, I was like most women and thought, what a pig. How disgusting. And then I listened to you and I laughed. And I, you were my guilty pleasure. And I, I started telling my friends that I listened to you and they all were disgusted, but I didn't care. And I realized how similar I was to those women you described. The naggy one, I actually, I'm five foot seven. I got married. I was a 120 and I gained 20 pounds. So I blew up. I cut my hair short, which is something, another thing you said. I used to be those, that girl that nagged to her, her husband or boyfriend when they didn't get her something on Valentine's Day. And I had to go home instantly and every day and tell my husband, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that I one of those women. I instantly went to the gym. I've lost that plus some, and um, I have been doing nothing but pleasing my husband. I even am pretty open to divorce. If he didn't want to, you know, be together, that's fine. I'm totally open to that. I don't want, I don't believe in wasting time. So, um, I'm cool with that, and I wouldn't be one of those girls that would, you know, take him to the cleaners at all. I want what I came in there with. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to thank you because I never realized how ridiculous I was until I started listening to you and some of the other idiots that call your show. <laughs> and and I'm turned around, and my husband's extremely happy, and I follow a lot of your tips um, when I, when it comes to pleasing him, and um, I I just I'm, I'm happy as can be. So, <laughs> and I wanted to thank you. Sounds good to me, you. Lynn. <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate the call. There she goes. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's James on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, James. Hello, Father. What up? Yo, first off, congratulations on your massive ratings, man. Thank you. And second of all, not only are you breaking records and doing all of this, man, but you're actually changing lives. Take look, check it. Five years ago, 
I was such a nice guy. I was a nice guy who took out the girls for a fancy dinner, took them to the movies. And then, after listening to your show, I realized what a dumbass I was, honestly. And now, all I do is rack in the pool, baby, every weekend, without missing a beat. And you know what? It's not only true for men, it's also for women. Just check out the last chick that just called in, man. Just wanted to let you know that, and you know what? Keep it up, man. You're what is that? The, uh, is, what is that? The Metro Liner on the background there? What's the, what's going on there? Oh, uh, I'm on the bus. Oh, you're no, on the I'm bus. I'm sorry? You're on the bus. Yeah, I am. Uh, James, what are you doing? Hey, hey. Currently at the shop, so I had to bust it today. You had to bust it today. Yeah. How how's the uh, clientele on the bus today? I'm sorry. How is the clientele sitting around you there? <laughs> Bunch of scumbags, <laughs> as always. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, ma what uh, uh, mass transit is in Southern California? You know, it's the transit. It is the transit of last resort. Please take me out with a tribal gun and a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, James. It's Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, sorry about that. Curtis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Curtis. I just wanted to congratulate you on your successful career and being number one. Thank you. I also wanted to tell you that um, before I even um, heard of Tom Lyka, I was, um, the reason why you're number one in my book is because one day I was on my way home from work, and I usually drive my lights on during the daytime, you know, because it's, uh, it helps other cars see you, and I got flashed three times. Really? Oh my God! I thought maybe I was like heading towards some kind of um, high school football game or something like that. I had no clue, but believe me, I was ecstatic. Man, I I, I had never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, um, beautiful women. Never seen nothing like that in my life. And I went home and I told my friends, and they were saying, "Man, it's Flash Friday," and I said, "What is that?" And they said, man, it's from Tom Lyka. Ever since then, I've been watching, I've been listening to your show. You have been number one in my book, man. I, 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 I'm so sad that I, I, I caught you so late in my life. I'm like 41 now. This is like happened at the end of 2006. And uh, I've, I've been listening to you ever since. This is my uh, my first time calling you. I just had to put that in and stuff, man. That's why you, uh, that's another reason why you're number one on the show. Well, thank you for that, Curtis. I appreciate it. There's no one else on this planet that can get women to do what you can get them to do just by asking the man to turn on their lights. That's all we do. That's all you have to do. And it works. Thanks a lot for the call, Curtis. Here's Lee on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I'm so excited to get through. Thank you, Lee. Um, I just wanted to give you the biggest thanks ever. I was with a total loser for like five, almost six years. And really listening to you for about the last year and a half, two years, I started to realize that um, I needed to be a student of 101 also. Right. <laughs> I mean, I bought this guy a bike. I bought him everything. And Oh, he, my. Oh, God. It's amazing. And I wanted to just really thank you and say that a big red flag, if anybody out there thinks that they're, like, the exception, having the person you're with not like that you listen to Tom Likas is probably because... They were one of the bad people that you should be ditching. Because <laughs> he hated it. He hated that I listened to you. And more and more I realized, because you were describing him. I mean, you're talking about girls for the most part, but it was him to a T. Wow. Yeah. Amazing stuff, Lee. Thank you so much for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com